This is Johnji.net. I am with Katie Sackoff, star of Battlestar Galactica. I have to give you a, a large amount of props, I think, for being able to, to kind of rise above. Before you even showed yourself on, on screen, you had to go through a lot of <laughs> stuff. We'll just say stuff to keep it nice. <laughs> and you really, you were able to take that character and really make it yourself. Yeah. And so, you know, really, uh, congratulations on that. Thank you. I think that... Um that when you're faced with adversity, you can, you know, go one way or the other. Mm -hmm. And I was, I felt so challenged by the fans right. that I went, oh, really? You don't think? Okay. <laughs> All right. We'll just see. So, and, you know, I had someone say to me the other day, he's my old trainer who, who is um, training some other actresses right now, and he said, he's like, why can't they all just be like Katie? This girl came with badass built in. Uh -huh. yeah, yeah. <laughs> so it, it just, that's always come easily for me, mm -hmm. I think because I'm so not that, yeah. that I like to live vicariously. So it was, it was fun, it was a nice challenge. You uh, certainly played one of the, probably mo one of the most conflicted and confused characters over the course of the years. I know. That had to be a little, uh, a little uh, definitely a little challenging, I would think. Um, you know, Kara Thrace was fantastically complex. Yes, very. Um, and just, she had so many different layers to her. And it was so much fun to play, but it was also extremely exhausting. Oh, you know, I mean, you go to work every day and you play this character who is, who's all over the place and who's depressed and who's happy and who's at, you know, such odds with themselves. And mm -hmm. then, you know, the last season you play someone who doesn't know who they are. Who's, right. who's, you know, so I'm trying to figure out how to play, how do you play someone that isn't really there because they know they're dead, but they don't really know what they are but they know they're there for a reason and they're important, but they want to know who they, I mean, how do you play that? Right, you're, you're playing someone that's almost trying to find, It's yeah. you're playing an actress, trying to be an actress, trying to right. find her play, yeah. Right, and so the, the, the episode back where she's screaming, um, um, and I said to, you know, about five episodes after that, I'm sitting there with the writers and, and it's the first time where I've lost my crap mm -hmm. at the writers and I was like this sucks I have no idea what's going on I hate this Kara's crazy she's doing this she's doing that I'm so upset like I have no idea what she's doing and I don't know how to play her mm -hmm. I was like my acting sucks because I don't know how to play this girl because she's all over the place right. and they went but that's why it's working because she doesn't know either right. so just keep playing that and you're fine and so it helped it helped because I just, um, and because I haven't studied, I think that's kind of been my technique is mm -hmm. I just kind of live it. And Jump in it. both feet and... Yeah. yeah, I mean, I live it in the moment. It's acting. It's not that big right. of a deal. But, you know, it's, it's uh, yeah, I have to kind of throw myself into it. So I think that my insecurity as an actor um, really helped with Kara's insecurity as a, as a person. Right. Uh, I read in another interview that you were a little... Uh, maybe a little displeased at the lack of closure for Kara Thrace. Yes. So I was kind of curious, how would you, uh, I mean, did you kind of have a, an image of how you wanted it to end? Um, no. You know, I, every time I've tried to figure out a good idea for mm -hmm. Battlestar Galactica, Ron Moore always surprises me and comes up with something a million times better than my imagination would ever come up with. Um, and so I learned to just leave that to the professionals. Right. Occasionally I sit down and I say, you know, it'd be really nice if we had some, some, some more storylines about the mom. You know, that, right. that'd be really interesting. And then they write Maelstrom. And, and so it's not that you're telling the writers what to do, or, but you're, you're telling them an idea you had or a dream you had. And they take it, you know, how they, how they so choose to. And, right. and, um, and so... I always said that I didn't want Kara to have a happy ending. Okay. I didn't want to wrap her up in a box with a pretty little bow, and that's not who she is. Right. She is more content being being lost. Um, that's where she f is at peace, because I think that's what she thinks she deserves. Um, and so I didn't want her to like walk off into the sunset with Apollo. I was like, right. that's not right. Um, and towards the end, it just seemed be after after Sam got shot. Mm -hmm. Kara's relationship with him changed. And I've said this before, and a couple fans lost their sh <laughs> over it. Um, <laughs> go up <after> yourself. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Um, because that was so close to home, and because of what Michael Trucco went through just before that, mm -hmm. my heart went there. Right. As an actress, my heart went there. 
Um, so I think that it's one of those situations that if you're married to someone, even if you're separated from them, and they get shot or they get in a serious car accident, you immediately, I think, I would anyway, would immediately realize what I had. Right. And you would then go there. It's just, I think it's just human nature. So she ended up with Sam because of that. You mm -hmm. know, had Michael not broke his neck, she might have ended up with, with, with Apollo. I have no idea. Right. But that's, that's how our own personal lives influenced these characters, very much so. so that's great. Yeah. Well, Katie, thank you very much for sitting down with me today. Thank you. Uh, enjoy your time here at Starfest. I will. It's um, it's very snowy out. Yeah. I left Sorry. Los Angeles. It's okay. I mean, from Oregon, I get it. <laughs> but, <laughs> but I left LA this morning, and it was like 75. Yeah, I know. And then I landed, and I could see breath. I was like, wow, it's freezing. Well, thank you very much. Again. Thank you right. very much. I Bye. appreciate it.